Put your hands by your back. Put your hands by your back. It's wrong. Put your hands by your back. Put your hands by your back. When boundaries are pushed too far, the thrill of entertaining an audience often spirals out of control. Whether it's reckless behavior, shocking arrests, or misguided stunts, these real-time broadcasts ended in chaos. No, you do not have right to go through my purse. You are incorrectly... I am not... What is the reason for my detainment? Because you're not providing your driver's license. We're past that point, ma'am. Leaving audiences stunned and streamers facing serious consequences. One, two, three. Let's dive into the chaotic world of live streams where reckless actions took a shocking turn, leaving behind unforgettable and often regrettable moments. On August 8, 2022, popular live streamer Aiden Ross's broadcast took a wild twist when Miami police stormed his hotel room in a shocking swatting incident. What started as a typical streaming session quickly descended into chaos as officers responding to a fake emergency call burst in, catching Ross completely off guard and turning his live broadcast into a real life drama. <laughs> It's 45, 11. Yeah, P7. Yes. Sir. Thank you. Towards the door. Hey, be alert. There's foot movement. Going towards the door. They're right in front of the door. 
The announcers up again. The big ones, right? Yeah, the big ones. Aiden, it's my hurt, buddy. I need you to step up. They're moving okay, back. Step up with your hands up. Slow. Who are you with there? Who is who's the second with you? Okay, I need you both to step up with your hands up. Aiden, hey, you're open the door. You're holding your hands up. Aiden, hey, you're not in the shot. I can see your hands. The officers comb through the hotel room, checking every corner for threats. While Ross, caught between panic and disbelief, tries to explain he's the victim of a swatting prank gone horribly wrong. Listen, oh, the door stay open. Aiden, keep going. Aiden, keep going. Sorry, sorry. Aiden, keep going. Keep walking. 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 Somebody swatted, please don't shoot her, please, bro. Please, 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 I'm begging you. are going to be okay. You're going to be okay. No, this is, I saw someone die over a swap. Please, 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 I got swatted. Just watch the moment. I got a scooter. No, I'm Please. I swear, I'm screaming about a YouTuber. Like, I'm not about to. Please, they're going to, my girlfriend's sleeping upstairs, bro. Please, she's going to be so scared. She might react back. Please, I'm begging you. Uh, I got him right here. Guys, I got him right here. Please, right I'm man. Please, my girlfriend's. Please, please, Mark, Mark West, please, bro. Thank you. Like, my girlfriend's sleeping. No, she might react bad, bro. I mean, they might shoot. Relax. They're gonna, they're gonna make sure everything's good. I swear. Out. I know. I got swatted. You know what that is? Yeah. It's not real, bro. I'm not like that. I'm streaming right now. I'm live. Like I'm live, that's why I didn't do it. I put my phone, it's upstairs. So like, that's, I'm, I got you, I got you, I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to move. No, it's for my, my computer upstairs. Um, guys, I'm sorry, but like, I know this happens to all the streamers. My girlfriend's upstairs sleeping. She's gonna like. Okay, so, so when you're being swatted, and you're holding your phone, 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 so I don't know how many cops can you imagine how scared of me? I'm not. Well, because our call is that your girlfriend shot. So obviously. Well, I understand that because it's a fit. Do you know how this You know how it is? Like, honestly, how? I think we both know what swatting is. Um, she, she's talking to you. No, I know. I know somebody died swatting. I'm aware of it. Yeah, that's why I'm so scared. I'm, I'm not. Well, how many of us are trying to keep you calm and we're trying to do this as calm as possible? I know, I understand. We didn't come running in here screaming, right? Huh? We didn't come in here running, screaming, breaking doors. But I'm now. asking how am I reacting bad? I'm just scared myself. I know you are, but we can calm down. We're asking you questions to try and get to what's going on here, and that's it. Eventually, you're going to be out of time because you're not going to jail or you're not under arrest. I already know, but I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Huh? I think we're you saying you're going to be out of time. I already know, but I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Huh? Girl, still sleeping. I'm going to be out of time. I'll be out of time. Yeah. Hey, take, take him going. across. Take him over there. I'm ready. No, crazy. I want to go up in there right after that. What's going on? Is this going on? No, no, no. What's going on with you guys up there? In there, what are you guys doing? Do you like, no, like, 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 what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing with him? Um, with him? Like, how do we like, like, you're watching him or you're sleeping? Or? No, no, no. I'm just, like, we're just like, like talking to the chat. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm so it's just a live thing? Yeah. Are you guys playing a video game? No, he like, he like, uh, like, sorry. <laughs> Um, we we like, know about SWAT and we heard yeah. just to explain what was going on. You guys were both yeah. in a room. So basically, we were just like, um, we do like challenges on like on YouTube. Okay. Have you seen like the salmon yeah. challenge? Yeah. Like, just yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like basically we did the same thing. Like 
with food. Like we made like a sandwich. <laughs> and like, that is right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we like cooked it in the kitchen. <laughs> and then we like ate it. And then And you guys are recording all that? Yeah, but we're like live. So it's not like YouTube where you like film okay, the video. Right. Yeah. So like twenty four or seven. How many people are watching that? Like a hundred thousand. Okay, and then what happened? You guys the people on the stream know what that is. Yeah. Oh, of course we can go. I don't know, they just always know. Because, like, they get, like, IP addresses and they, like, find out. So, like, sometimes like, the chat will, like, call. And so, like, they know we're at the penthouse or we're going to be videos. They remain cool under pressure, conducting their checks while Ross pleads his case, trying to convince the officers that they've been duped by online trolls. I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing. That's just crazy. That's crazy. I'm not spotted. That's insane, bro. Wow. Someone really swatted me. That's crazy. That's crazy. Do you like know like about YouTube? Yeah, that's, that's crazy, dude. We just want to make sure everybody's good. If everybody's good, like, how do we like stop this from happening in the future, though? Because they're well, this is uh, this, yeah. these people uh, they call and they say these things. We get here, we don't know. Oh, I'm already knowing. Yeah, yeah they, we don't know. You guys are doing your job. Yeah. Like, imagine we're some bad for the worst. Of course, we're thinking the worst. We're, we're making sure everybody's safe. Of course, we're a lot of things that goes to our heads when we're doing all this. Of course, we, we just want to make sure everybody's safe. Everybody's safe. We got to go. All right. Crazy. What? You streaming on Twitch? Yeah, I'm live right now. That's why they did it. You know what I mean? They did it because I'm live on Twitch right now. Yeah. Did they walk in the room probably with the cameras on? They probably did. Yeah, well, yeah, we gotta make sure all the rooms. Of course, all the rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, they're gonna, it's gonna go viral, bro. That's crazy.
Feeling like the world's worst hotel guests, they keep apologizing for wasting the officer's time, voicing their frustration over the reckless prank that turned the stream into an unexpected police drama. You guys walking with the camera? Yeah, we know the swatting, it just, I mean, we know these are just who he is. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that, you know, that even that, like, there's no domestic violence involved, you know, that you're thinking, 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 you know, that you
You don't have access to the camera down the door? No, nah, it's not. So I just moved in. That camera's not registered. It's registered, obviously, to the owner of the... But I got to hook in. I got to hook up with that. The reason why I didn't hear you guys bang because I had headphones on. I was like, understandable, oh, understandable. And now everything is kind of making sense. Mm -hmm. just, we're trying to find ways to try to mitigate this going forward. For sure. Yeah, 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 no, for sure. I'll, I'll call them. I'm doing it the 49th. So I'll call them all in a Let's make sure to find out downstairs because if it happens, it could happen in other places as well. We should have been having a lot of calls downstairs to see if they can call the Yeah, that's crazy. I just got swatted. That's your first time? First time ever getting swatted. It's like Nicky Merckx. Literally. Yeah. Nicky Yeah. All right. Bad everything else is just take care of it. Yeah, I got to go downstairs. Yeah. That's all. Let's check to make sure we go down at the desk. I'm sure they could have called up, so I probably should have done so. And then that didn't they, get you on. Yeah, he, he, he thought they were pranking. Oh, they didn't call me actually. So when I when I when I answered, it, and there was no answer. It was weird. It was like completely. I was like, hello, 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 nothing. So they did call from downstairs. I got a call from downstairs. I did. So but but hey, there was no, nobody talked though. I don't know why. I think they didn't call back. No, nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be back up. I'll give you the keys. I'll bring you the little keys card. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Busted while breaking a sweat. This jogger's morning workout took an unexpected detour, straight into a burglary investigation. On August 27th, 2020, officers responded to a reported burglary at the 2000 block of North Normandy. The suspect was described as an African-American male wearing a white tank top, black shorts, and having a beard. Officers soon approached a man jogging nearby who matched this description, reassuring him that he was not in trouble but needed to verify his identity due to the resemblance to the suspect. The man was detained for identity verification, cooperated properly, and officers kept the conversation light to ease his concerns. Where do you live at, buddy? Uh, 522 South Annapolis, Doug. It's a couple blocks from here? Five minute jog. Yeah. Okay. And that's all you were doing was jogging, obviously? Yeah. Like I said, we're looking for him and we just want to make sure it's not you. If it's, everything's good to go, we'll cut you loose. You're out of here. Right. You literally, you fit the description. Black with a beard, a white shirt. Black, black white tank hair. top, orange, uh, black shorts, black shoes. Is there any, do we, do we need to even go further than that? Hey, he, he's got a white tank top and black shorts too. Did 40 say camo shorts? Because I told him, the, his just have, uh, they're completely black. I mean, they have army on the side, but. That's what I was telling him. Literally, if, it, if, it, if he's free to go, if he's not the one, we'll cut him loose. Yeah, man, we're gonna, we're gonna work something out real quick. Get, get somebody cool over here real quick just to just make sure. But All right. the good news is they come off as easy as they go on. So that's it. Then I apologize for the inconvenience. Just think of it. If it was your home, right, we'd be doing the same. Fortunately, you, you literally fit the description like 99 percent. So. I just happen to be that one percent that... I run this street all the time. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look like you're in pretty good shape, so... Mm -hmm.
seven cop cars. So hey, everything going on is just a little bit scary. Yep. Now you're good. <laughs> this is a bur. It was a burglary. Yeah, don't it's, <laughs> it's a burglary. It's serious. It's not a joke. <laughs> yep. We don't know that for sure, though. You know what I mean? See, that's what I'm trying to say. See it through us. See it through our eyes. Yeah. The cars burned. The officer did shift change. So that's the only reason. So you got these guys that are getting ready to go home, and we're coming in. So that's why you have so many. <laughs> whoever, whoever did it, picked about the worst time they could possibly do it. Cause there's about 30 of us right here in the city of the Bellatona right now. So nothing's gonna happen to you. I'm gonna take care of you. I promise you that. That guy literally meant the description too. He's, I mean, but he's at, he looks like he's just home. He's just chilling. Yeah, if, he, if, he, if it was him, he, he's hiding out somewhere. What, what was the last place? Uh, they said. They got him coming east. East? Yeah. Officers continued checking the man's details, assuring him he'd be free to go if he wasn't the suspect. We appreciate you being very cooperative. Other people would have would just. I'm not trying leave. to get shot over this. You ain't gonna get shot. <laughs> Listen, there's 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 mistakes people make, right? And it's because of their actions. I'm not saying that officers that have been in, involved shootings weren't at fault as well, but there's at times where we we say things like like look, look how cooperative you were. Did things escalate? No, they didn't. No. Because you did exactly what we told you to do, and as soon as and if you dead seriously, do you really think we want to be out here killing people? Do you honestly I think that? You. I'm a military police. I, I ex so I, I just want you to know. I, I yeah, see it from. A I got you. And like I said, brother, I, I've been in the same boat. Okay, I know things are going on. It's a, it's a race fight going on. I'm 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 right there with you, man. It's still, it's still so if I was white, I wouldn't have fit the description. If, if the guy was white, <laughs> white tank top, white black shorts, yes, you would. Yeah. Same thing. It wouldn't have changed the story. Yep. If it would have been, if it would have been, if... If it, if it would have been a white male, white tank top, black shorts, black shoes, we would have stopped the same person that figured that if you were, if you, let's say you were white and you were running down, the same thing would have happened. Not a thing would have changed. That's what I'm trying to do, man. Let's avoid that race car because it ain't here. I promise you that. I promise you that. Man, all law enforcement are like that. We still have a good perimeter up, right? In case it ain't him. We cut him loose. All right, I just want to make sure, man, because I want to catch him. You want to sit down? No, you're, you're fine. Already you're comfortable. Already yeah. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. You're obstructing traffic. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep on going. Jesus Christ, people don't understand. Causing a rose hazard, then we got an accident. 
Did you? Yeah, they, they just get so they just watch the blue lights and then they're like, oh, and then they crash and. A suspect photo cleared the man's name. Turns out it was just a case of wrong place, wrong time, jogging attire. What are you doing uh, in the military? Uh, military police, uh, medic, nurse. The whole nine uh, yards, huh? Everything. Good for you. Good for you. When did you go in? Uh, 2010. 2010? How long are you going to serve? Uh, I just, ETS this month, though. Okay. I don't know how the whole thing works, so that's why I'm asking. Just getting out. The manager at the ICU now, uh, Miss Myrna Beach. Copy. Copy. Can you run this? Who's that? Oh, okay. He's going to get... Yeah. In the back of the phone. In the back of the phone? Oh, driver's license in the back of the phone. You find it by... Yeah. So, good, so good news for you? The, the witness is saying that it, the clothes you're wearing and all that doesn't fit the description? All the guy in the back of your car? Yeah, it's called, we, it, it's called a show up, so... Uh, So we got a picture. Um, again, he's gonna run it through. Make sure it's not you. And from what it looks like, buddy, you'll be out of here, okay? Cool. All right. So, look. hey, can one of y'all uh, tell you my know? girl to come pick me up off of Normandy, please? I know she got the baby at the home. Tell her to uh, have her mom come yeah, pick yeah. me up or something. All right, buddy. I don't want to stress I'm, her out too. Can much. I put it this on the yeah, floor? Just leave it on the floor? All right. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm trying to do that. What? I don't have it. Hey, bud. So we appreciate you being very cooperative. Again, this is not a race thing, so let's not make it because yeah, that's you're not, you're not white. That's <laughs> even if I was, I'm. Let me tell you, this agency is very, very amazing, and there's serious consequences for racial discrimination here. Okay, I promise you that. Our sh very seriously, we are not discriminating. You literally matched the description. We did a show up. What's your name, man? Joseph. Joseph. Hey, man. Let's Jake. Just want to say thank you for keeping a cool, good demeanor. We just got the picture finally from the witness, and it, it's. I get why they they went out with you for sure. Uh, Clearly not you, but the clothing description everything matched. Uh, so obviously these guys didn't have that to go with. They just had, they just had a description that matched. It's pretty good. But once we finally got the picture from the video surveillance and stuff, it was like, nah, that's not. That's why I told them like, get them out of here. So, I appreciate you being clear and understanding. I get it. It's that's not cool. It's not convenient. Yeah, I know. I know things are a little. Yeah. There's one tennis shoes, black army shorts, and a white top. Nice. Everybody's a little on edge right now, so I appreciate you being cool. And I just want to say thank you. Not everybody is uh, that understanding or respectful. So, all right. Oh, I thank y'all for standing with me. Uh, and thank you for Officer Estrada here, who hey. told me from the get-go, "Hey, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you." So definitely appreciate that. Uh, wrong place, wrong time. Have a good one, buddy. The officers then tracked down the real suspect and took him into custody without further ado.
Ja, ja. The actual suspect was likely charged for burglary. Now, let's shift gears for a while and see how a refusal to show ID turns a routine traffic stop into a dramatic standoff, where clashing egos and rising tensions spiral hilariously out of control. On May 2nd, 2024, a Naperville police officer conducted a traffic stop after observing a vehicle cross the center line. But the real drama began when the female driver jumped out, refusing to follow commands and claiming she felt threatened. Despite requests, she refused to provide identification and accused the officer of being aggressive, escalating the situation further. Get back in your car. I'm pulling you over. Get back in your car. Get back in your car right now. Get back in your car. Get in your car. What are you doing? Hey, hey. I don't know what your problem is. Send me a bag. Excuse hey, me. hey, hey, stop walking away from the stop. Get back in the car. I feel threatened. Get back in the car. No. Get back in the car. Like uh, you're be do under you arrest. have a police camera on? Yes, I do. I it's feel not. very threatened. You're touching your. your... Get back. Because you're getting me. out of the car. Call, call, the 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 car. call the police. Call the police. He's not. Get back in your car. I don't know who this man is, and Get I was just coming into my car. I'm stopping you because you crossed over the lane, improper lane usage. I turned around and pulled you over. You got out of your car. Please get back in your car. Uh, no. Call your supervisor. No. Get back in your car. No. What's your deal? I don't know what your problem is. I pulled you, you over. Why are you getting out of the car? I didn't attack you. I didn't even touch you. Get back in your car. You need to take a moment? I don't know what your problem is. Please leave me alone. Okay, you need to get back in your car. What's going on? I don't know who, what I'm to happen. I'm I have a not, lady. Stop please call your supervisor because you're not. You're not bad. You're not. I wasn't doing anything. And you're attacking me. Get back. You, you grabbed your gun. You were, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know you. You need to get back in your car. The reason. Can I? Can I talk to you for one second? Can you hear me out? So I pulled you over. Maybe you didn't notice, but I got out of the car. And I said, Hey, please get back in your car because I conducted a traffic stop on you. And now you're not listening to direction. I need you to get back in the car. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. Call your supervisor. You have way. no right to They're do this. Way. Call your Just supervisor. Just to pull you over, yes, I do. So we're going to stay here. I don't mind. I'm not going to put you in cuffs or do anything like that right For now. For what? I haven't done anything. Because you're not listening to my orders. So I haven't done anything. I need you to relax. If you need to sit down, that's fine. We don't need to escalate any further. I haven't done anything. Okay. You, Why you are committed you trying to put me in handcuffs? What law have I broken? Because you're not listening to me. That's not a law. I know my laws. Okay, so you disobeyed a traffic violation. I'm not talking to you. I need a lawyer. I'm That's not talking fine. to you. Get your okay. supervisor. I need a lawyer. That's fine. I got people coming. I need a supervisor. So what I'm going to need is your identification right no, now. No, sir. Get your okay, supervisor. So are you refusing to identify yourself? Yes, sir. Okay. Get your supervisor. I need you to identify yourself. So you're going to need to provide me with your identification while we're waiting. Because I'm conducting a traffic stop. I haven't heard you call the supervisor. I already got a few units coming. Okay. Is your body camera on? Yep. Okay. I'm going to stand up so it can see me. That's fine. We have no right to detain you right now. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I haven't broken any laws. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yep. Yeah, I'm just... Get your supervisor. Yeah, I'm right there. Brookdale and Westminster in the lot where the little strip mall is. Do you work here? I don't answer questions, especially from people who are attacking me. Okay. Because she's calm right now. I pulled over for her improperly and she crushed over the middle there. And then she got out of the car. I'm not sure if she I realized was I was pulling her over. Okay. And so, now she's out of the car. She's feeding back into the car or identify herself. So, okay. that's where we're at right now. I didn't need to go hands on because she's still standing here. So, yeah, if we, plate, come back yeah, if you just let me know about the plate.
Okay, so now I got a bunch of my officers here. So I'm gonna need you to provide me with your license. No, sir. Okay, then you're gonna be under arrest. I'm what you is know now. the reason for improper the arrest? Improper lane usage. No improper lane usage. Yes, you crossed over the middle of the line. No, I pulled you I was over. pulling into this parking lot. Okay, so you have one other option. If you do not provide me with your license right now, I'm gonna take you to jail. Okay. That is incorrect. Okay. I Turn around, put your hands behind your back, please. Um, you got your cuffs on you? Yeah, I got. I have mine in my right pocket. Here. Oh, I just switched. That's fine. What is what is the reason for my detainment? Because you're not giving your driver's license. You got that pulled over for a traffic stop. That, that is, is not against my law. Can I, can I talk to you? Yes. You got pulled over for a traffic stop. Whatever the probable cause is, it is One. what it is. Female, you are driving a car. You're operating yeah. a motor vehicle on an Illinois roadway, and you have to provide your driver's license. If you fail to do that... She refuses to back down and questions the legitimacy of their actions, despite the officer's best efforts to defuse the situation. You're going to be under arrest so we can go, mm -hmm. go through your things okay. and find out who you no, are the hard you have way. no reason for search. You're, where's your warrant? You are where under arrest. Warrant? You are under you, arrest. You, where's okay. your warrant? If you want to go ahead and search your quick ass yeah. too when we get to my car. No, yeah. where's your warrant? Where's your warrant? We've already explained everything to you we're not doing it. I know my rights. I want my lawyer. I do not understand. I am not under whatever you guys are doing. I do not understand. What do you do? You have anything on you? No. Sorry. I have nothing on me. Okay. Yeah. You are, have no right to go through my purse. I think it's good. Okay. No, you do not have right Stop. to go through my purse. You are incorrectly. Yes, I am not. Stop resisting right What now. is the reason for my detainment? Because you're not providing your driver's license. We're past that point, ma'am. We are past what that point. What is the reason for my detainment? Because you did not provide your not driver's license. I do not understand. I am not under this. Okay, I am not in agreement with this. I am not in agreement. I do not approve of this. Okay. What is the reason for your you detainment? You're not being I am. Under what arrest. is the reason for your detainment? Because you're not arrest. providing your driver's that license. That is not a valid reason. Okay. There is no reason for yeah. you okay, to do that. You can fight this in court. That's the whole point of this, right? So yes, and you will all. Uh, what's your badge district? number? Yep. Yep. Let's go. 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 Yeah, I'm not sure if she realized I pulled her over, but she got on. I said, hey, please get back in your car. She refused. She went to identify herself, and she still wanted to identify herself. So. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. I just, so like, now listen to me. So. Did she jump out on you? Like, what happened? No, I pulled her over. I'm not sure if she realized I pulled her over. So I was coming this way, and she crossed over the center line right there. So I turned around behind her, put on my lights, call it out. And she gets out, and she starts walking to the locker room. I'm like, no, no, please get back in the car. The Doing traffic stop. stop. Right. And she's like, well, no, what did I do? And I'm like, you know, improper Let's laser. She crossed over yeah. the center line, so please get back in your car. No. I'm like, okay, well, you got to listen to me. This isn't a request. She wouldn't listen to me. I'm like, you're going to have to give me your ID. And I was like, might as well call you guys. So. Yeah, good job. I don't agree with it. It's unfortunate. I wonder, I mean, she's not acting sovereign. Kind of, but like she has a driver's license. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was not. Or is it a fake that. driver's license? I don't know. It looked. It doesn't. I mean, I don't know what a Georgia license looks like. It, yeah. it, it does look, look legit. Yeah, it does. What is the reason for my detainment? This was the reason. That is not against the law. What you Something not against the law. I am not under that law. Whatever it is that. What code is that law? What code is the law? When you receive a driver's license, you sign and you promise that when you are stopped by an officer that you will identify... What is the code? What is the code number? It's under a drive. I don't know the exact code, but you have to provide identification when you get pulled over. You were involved in a traffic stop today. 
And that's what happens. You have to say who you are. What There's you no mean? reason for me to be detained, especially in handcuffs. I do not understand. I do not understand. I do not authorize. I do not agree. You have to tell us who you are. It's not acceptable to say that you don't. You don't what is the reason for my detainment? Because you wouldn't tell us who you are. Now we know who you are. The woman continuously refused to comply, demanded badge numbers, accused officers of illegal searches, and argued that her arrest was unjustified. You illegally searched me without a warrant. You legally took my possessions without my warrant. My red wallet, she had it in her hand and she took it and she went through it. To find out who you are. She had already seen my driver's license. Then she additionally went into my red wallet to see what else she can find. My red, my red wallet was after she found my driver's license. She had no reason to go into my red wallet. And we're gonna get this sorted out. Okay, I'm glad everything's being recorded. What is the badge number of the gentleman that's standing there has additionally been a, assigned to this? What is the badge number and name of that gentleman? I don't know his badge number, but that's my sergeant, Sergeant Ragusa. Okay. One, two, three, four. Are my, is my car locked? Did you? Yeah, it's locked. And I'm not going to tow it or anything. I'm just going to leave it there. We have no reason to tow it. Well, subject to arrest, I'm allowed to. But I mean, I really don't see a reason because it's on private property. So. Can I have my credit cards back? Yeah, you'll get them. They're coming with you to the jail. You said, yeah, you'll get them. You'll you'll get them at the jail. Yeah, so they're coming with you. Later. Why have you compensated confiscated my credit cards? Why did you take them out of my purse and not my other things? I got your why do you have my purse that was not illegal search you had found my driver's license before you found my purse you have detained and illegally searched my purse you're detaining my credit cards at this moment is this car being recorded yep. thank you what time does your computer say 10 30. yeah do you know your bond number i'm sorry do you know your bond number by heart my bond number bond bond number I don't know what that is. Okay. Again, I would like to reiterate, I do not understand. I do not comply. Which Naperville police station are you taking me to? No, oh, okay, I'm not, what is the, I'm not aware of the address. Can you tell me what the address is? Yeah, Okay. Okay, if you can step out for me, please. I will not comply with this. I will not agree to comply. I'm not gonna help in my detainment. Okay. I do not understand and I do not comply. Do you want to get Ragusa down here, maybe, or give him a call? What? Do you want to get Ragusa down here, or no? Because then it yeah. seems like she's going to fight. Let me get fight. soft gloves. I don't know if that's going to work on. Okay. You're on his way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, let me just tell you how this works. Right now, you are under arrest, and we have to book you. The longer that you refuse to let us book you, the longer you're going to sit here. It's not going to go away. We're not going to go away. You're just going to sit here forever. We have to book you. Whether or not you agree with it, I that's will not just... comply. I do not understand, and I'm not going to assist you in my lawful arrest. This is incorrect, and I would like to talk to my lawyer. Okay, well, you can't do that I until will... we book you. Once we book you, you can talk to whoever you want to talk to. You're not going to get a phone call. You're not going to go to the I'm bathroom. Not You're not going to get anything in my arrest until you let us for book something you. something that is incorrectly unlawful okay well i do not understand and i do not i'm comply. just gonna let you know the longer that we wait here we can wait here all day i don't care i'll be here but if we don't book you here you we're gonna take you that. we're gonna take you straight up to but, county and then you're gonna spend the night at dupage county can you please tell me what is your name uh what is your last name so and your unless, number is one zero zero five nine yep it's gonna be on all the paperwork but unless you let us book you we're just gonna take you up to county where they're gonna what is force the reason you. for for your alleged what is what you want me to explain so, you why yeah, I stopped we'll you explain and why it you're again. under arrest what is the reason what is the reason for my detainment okay so you're not detained right now you are arrested I am detained I don't okay, know why. so I'll explain it to you you committed a traffic violation so I conducted a traffic stop on you does your car have a uh, um, camera? camera? Yep. yep. So that it would have caught it. And then you got out of the car. I instructed you back to the car. So then you failed to follow my lawful commands to get back to your car during a traffic stop. Okay. Then after that, I asked you for your identification, which 
by law you need to provide on a traffic stop and you refuse to provide it to me after I asked you multiple times. This would have been a simple warning, but you've turned it into a ticket and rest. So that's the reason why you're under arrest. The officers kept their cool, patiently explaining that cooperation was her ticket to freedom, but she seemed set on making this the most drawn out booking process ever. You were very aggressive and you touched your gun and you were very aggressive. You, got out of the car, you weren't I even know nice. You, you weren't even nice. Why would you have to be so aggressive? Yeah, that was very threatening. Okay. And I was very scared because I thought you were going to reach your gun and pull it out because it was very threatening. Well, you got out of the car, so I, that's the reason my hands on my gun. because I. Don't no, I was already out of the car when you go, hey, and I turn around and I saw somebody. Exactly. I mean, I don't know you. I don't know what you you're doing. You saw a police car, a police officer in a full uniform with his lights on. So I don't know. I do not answer questions. I'm not, I'm, no, I'm, I'm telling you. I am telling you. Well, the I'm camera not will show everything. The camera will show everything. Yes, it's also recording now showing that you're not cooperating with us still. I have rights. I mean, if doesn't care, I'll take her to well, he's, he's right here. He's yeah. pulled up right now. What is the name of your supervisor? You'll talk to him when he comes in here. If you don't want to cooperate with me, why am I going to cooperate with you? Uh, excuse me. It's it's my it's my right to have the name of the supervisor that's being assigned. He's literally to me. He will right come now. and talk to you and himself. Okay. You too. When I ask that, that's that's something that you have to give me. I don't have to give you his name. Uh -huh. I don't actually. Well, you'll you'll find out later that you do. Oh, all right. Because that's a he will he will give you his name when he gets in here. You'll talk to him. You'll see his badge. You'll see his name. This is my sergeant, Sergeant Ragusa. Hi, how are you? Hi, sergeant. What's your name? What's yours? Sergeant Ragusa. What's your badge number, please? 4357. Thank you. Can you, uh, what's going on? I do not understand and I do not comply. Okay, well, we can, I can help answer any questions for you. But before I do that, we'd like to get you in here so I can I'm not answer gonna, all your questions. I'm not going to assist in my detainment. No, it's not assisting in your detainment. It's just cooperating to get you in there so we can. I'm not going to assist in my detainment. It. Well, they're going to they're going to bring you in there. Is there a medical condition that we should be aware of? I am on my menstrual cycle. Okay. Is there something that you can't get out of the car that you need to like maybe see a doctor or something? Or I'm I will not answer, not answer any questions. Okay. Well, they need to they need to bring you into the jail for processing. What is the reason for my detainment? I've explained it a few times. So I wasn't there, man. So I'm just asking you questions. So I'll explain it too for you again. So you committed a traffic violation. Of what? Uh, sorry. Of of what type of traffic violation? Improper lane usage. You crossed over the center boundary dividing line there. Okay. I mean, so that's why reason I pulled you over. So you pulled in the space, whether you saw me or not. I asked you. Said, get back in your car. You did not get back in your car. So you disobeyed my lawful command. Then I asked you multiple times for your driver's license, and you refused to provide it. So why that's did why you, we're here. Why did you grab your gun? Because I don't know you when you're out of your vehicle. Why were you so aggressive? I was not aggressive. So let's just kind of back it up. I don't know. I wasn't there, but I'm just trying to get to know what's going on. Can I first get what your first name is? I do not give names or anything. You already have illegally searched my purse, and you are in possession of my wallet right now with my credit cards you're in possession with my of my wallet my credit cards and there's no reason for it why didn't you put it back in my purse they're gonna give you all that back but how come you didn't take the rest of my purse if you took my wallet and my credit cards i have cash you didn't take the cash how about this how about this how about i ask all answer all your questions and in return you just come out in here so that we can kind of get i'm not going to do anything that is in Agreement. I do not understand. I do not comply. That's fine. That's and fine. And I'm not going to assist in, in an unlawful detainment. Okay. No, sir. Now, what, what, what's going to happen is that you are going to be brought into the jail. And I'm just kind of telling you what's going to happen so that we can move this process along. You are under arrest. Okay. You understand that. And what he needs to do is just bring you in there to start the process so that we can get you out of here. And in order to do that, there is a intake room in there that they want to bring you in. And let me just, so there's no surprises to you. I don't want you to be scared. I don't want there to be any issues. And I want to answer all your questions. What he wants you to do, which is part of this procedure, which is not, is, is happening. Okay. I'm just letting you know, is that we want you to step out of the car. They're going to bring you into the sally port or into the shakedown area over here, which is where they're going to search you to make sure you don't have anything else because they have to do that before you enter the jail. And then once you're in the jail, they're going to, they're going to take your cuffs off. They're going to put you in a cell and they're going to answer a bunch of questions. Whether you answer them or not, that's truly up to you. 
They're gonna get their process going, and as soon as they're done, they're gonna let you go, as far as I know. The officers informed her that she needed to be taken to jail for processing, but she repeatedly refused, expressing distrust and fearing harm during the procedure. As far as the charges. Can you please tell me what is the code of the, of the reason that he pulled me over? What was the lawful code of How that? How about this? How about I answer all your questions, not here in the garage, but inside there, and I'll answer all your questions if you do me the favor and just let us get the process going. No, sir. Okay, well, you can't sit in the car, okay? You have to go in there. Okay. And the easiest way to do that is that you just step out and follow us in there. I do not comply. There is a charge for obstructing and resisting. You're already what under is the arrest. code? What is the code for that? I'll give it to you there. I'm answering all your questions. I'm trying to be cooperative for you. Okay. okay. I wasn't out at the scene, but I'm surely here to listen to you and answer your questions. But in return, I would hope that you would cooperate with me. Okay. I'm not going to corroborate nothing personal, but I'm not going to corroborate on my illegal okay. detainment. Part, okay, and that's fine. And th as far as you disputing that, this is not the venue for it. You can, you can dispute that in court. No problem with that. But what happens from here is you have to get out of the car and you have to come into the jail for processing. And what happens after that is entirely up to you. If you don't want to answer any questions, that's up to you. There could be additional charges, just be aware of that, but that's entirely up to you. You have every right to exercise your rights and, and all that kind of stuff, but what has to happen and is going to happen is that you're going to come out of the car and we're going to bring you in there for processing and then you can refuse everything else that you want. Does that sound reasonable? Does that, do you understand that? No, sir. I do not what understand that. that do you not understand? I do not understand and do not comply. The choices are we take you out of the car and bring you in there. You better you not just, hurt me. That's entirely up to you. You better not hurt me. I have not done anything to be hurt. It's not intentionally to hurt you. Nope. We're trying to take you out of the car, but we can't leave you in this car. I'm not going to assist in my lawful detainment. That's, that's not assisting in your lawful detainment. I'm you not going to assist. You're already detained. You're already under arrest and you've been detained. Right now you're in handcuffs and we don't want to leave you in this car. We can't process you in the Sally Port. Okay. It, 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 you Nothing don't personal, have... sir, but I'm not going to comply. Okay. Well, you really don't have a choice, and we'd rather... Anything we can say that can gain your cooperation no. at all? No, ma'am. And why is that? Because I do not understand, and I do not comply. At this point, I'm going to remain silent. I remain silent. I plead the fifth. After enough back and forth to make a sitcom, the officers had no choice but to physically assist her into processing, still refusing to comply. Okay, we're okay. going to take you out of the car. Okay. The so go ahead and take your sweat here. We're going to go ahead and move your feet okay. out. Okay, do not hurt me. Not, do not hurt me. Not, okay. Because okay. I, if you hurt me... I have not done anything to you. Okay. I just want you to walk. Okay? Do not hurt me. Okay. All right. You need to sit in this car or this chair? I do not understand and I do not comply. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Right. Okay. Do not hurt me. Okay. Do not hurt me. Okay. 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 Why don't you sit down? Think about what you're doing. All we want Can you, you to do. Can you pull my pants back up, please? All, all we want you to do is Can to walk in this chair. Can you pull my pants back chair. up? Can you pull my pants up? Absolutely. Well, why don't you stand up so we can do okay. that? Okay, can you pull my pants up? Can you stand up so we can do that? No, please. Okay. Well, no, then I can't. Do you need, do you need a, a paramedic or an ambulance to check you out? Can you pull my pants up? I'm, I'm... Can you stand up so we can assist you I'm with that? I'm not appropriately... Can you, you stand up so we can assist you with that? Can you please I'll get this. Uh, can you please cover my stomach? Who? Can you please cover my stomach? just texted me. Who? Hold on. These are here. Four from 22, if you're still at the jail yeah. or the PD, you can just come to Sally Court. Well, I mean, we can bring her in there if you want to grab the door. Yeah. All right. If you're good with it, just yeah. maybe have an extra body. All right. I'll grab this side and I'll pull up for you. Well, here, I'll or you got it. Well, you know, hold on. Hold on a second. Can you pull here? down my shirt? Uh, I don't know what he just said. Give, just give a second. Because I was saying we can each take an arm and then yeah, we have the legs, legs too. Yeah. So, okay. so we're not dragging around. No, I don't, I don't I know my rights, and right now I know that you are not doing what you're supposed to do. Ma'am, we're, we're trying to help you, but you're the one laying on the ground like a dead fish. Okay? All we're asking is this. and I do not understand. Okay. Complying has nothing to do with this. You're, it's just being a human being and standing up. All right, welcome. So if you want to take that side, um, I think she's going to be dead weight again. So. One, two, three. Can you pass over my buddy? Sit her on a city position. 
Would you, would you please walk in for us the rest of the way? No, sir. Nothing personal, but I am not going to assist in my detainment. Okay. All right. We're asking you again if you would please walk Ready? in there. Okay? Ready? No, sir. Ready? Okay. Go. No. Are you standing? No. Ready? One, two. The woman was charged with improper lane usage, obstructing an officer, and resisting arrest. When pranks go wrong, YouTuber King Sid found out the hard way that the real cops don't play around with fake calls, especially when they're about coke. Uh, they brought a sprinter! He's got, he's got, he's gonna transport, he's gonna take the cuffs. Um, is he going back to the PD or? Straight down. On January 27th, 2022, officers quickly responded to a 911 call about suspicious activity at a gas station in Coral Springs. The caller, 21-year-old YouTuber King Sid, falsely reported seeing a man in a black hoodie and an orange SUV involved in criminal activity, turning a prank call into a real police investigation. Hello, um, I'm calling because I see like weird suspicious activities at a gas station. What gas station? Weird, illegal. Yes, uh, at mobile. Uh, by Chick-fil-A in Cold Springs. Yeah, there's a person in a black hoodie. He's coming out of the car, and then, like, there's people, like, walking up, and then, like, just, like, like you know, going in and out, like, towards his car, and, then, like, it just looks very he suspicious and stuff like that. Person, okay, and he is he going into any vehicles? Uh, sometimes he's going into the vehicle, but sometimes they're coming to him, too. What type of vehicle is it? He has, like, uh... Orange bin, I think. What type of vehicle is it? Is it like a sedan, an SUV? What color? It, it's like a yeah, it's like an SUV type of car. It's orange. And, and this vehicle is parked in that gas station. Yeah, it's like parked on the side, so where people just pull up to the side, like and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like not parked up to the point. It's like you parked up to the side, kind of high, and then while like. Every 10 minutes or 10 minutes, minutes, like, someone will come up. Okay. And um, is there anybody else in the vehicle or just that one black male you said earlier? Uh, orange, like, one, I see him, but then I, I see, up, like, three or four others as well. So they're probably in a good large group. So I don't know if there's some type of gang activity or selling drugs or something like that. Did you want to meet with an officer? Definitely. Uh, no. Hey, how's it going? I don't know. Is there a problem? Uh, we're good. You guys, what are you guys doing here? What? We're just chilling. We're hanging out. Chilling and hanging out at a gas station. No, we just put the lyrics and put at a gas station. We live around here, bro. What? No, I, I couldn't hear what you said. No, sorry. Sir, is there... Is... Uh, he's, he's, he's trying to tell me, explain to me why you're here. He lives around here. Okay. But you're driving the car, right? Whose car is this? My car. Okay. Do you have your license and insurance? Registration? Take a look. So you're just hanging out. Am I doing it? Do I have to give you that? Yeah. Yeah, because I want to know what's going on here. Someone but, called about you here. Am I doing any, like, am I doing anything? Why, why are you in the, why are you in the, par the parking lot of a... I'm just hanging out, bro. I'm, I'm talking to my Zoom leader. You live around here? Where do you live? All right, I'm gonna come around and talk to you. Do you have an ID with you? No, I have no ID. So All right, so where do you live? There's a suspicious activity. That's why I'm here. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. You don't know, so there's no. You. Twelve ten four. Rock by two times here. Oh, officer, I ain't gonna lie. Officer, I'm, I'm kind of nervous right now. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. You don't okay. have to speak to him, sir. You don't have to speak to him, bro. Go ahead. I'm listening. Probably 33, sir. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. We're not doing nothing, bro. We got a bow. We're not doing nothing. What's going on? No, nothing. Is there anyone else in the car? Yeah. How many more people? Okay. Who's, hey, how you doing? Yeah, you do. Yeah, because I want to know what's going on. Someone called about you guys being suspicious in there. They didn't call about them. Okay, so what about call about them? What? Who's who's the registered owner of this car? You are. 
Okay, so I can figure out who you are. Police confront King Sid and his friends, pressing them for answers about why they're at the gas station and who owns the SUV. As for Sid's tension, it definitely grows. This is now separated. We're running the tag. I asked you that. Okay, I understand that. Why's your heart racing? Here you go, sir. Thank you. All right. Do you have a D? No. Okay. So you're Jason, right? Okay. Is this where you live in North Lauderdale? Nice. So unit for ninety-four for thirty-eight. Okay. Because when the plate, when I ran the plate, it came back. It didn't come back to Coral Springs, so that's why I kind of knew that you didn't live around here. So that's why I'm wondering why you're in this area. Why is there more cops coming, sir? Why is there more cops coming, sir? Because listen, listen. There's a, we always send two people. Just relax. Relax. How old are you, man? You're 19. Okay. Uh, times 32 by Xanax. There's 13, uh... Alright, so Jason. Alright, I ain't gonna lie. Chill, 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 chill. What? What's wrong? Chill, bro, chill. You don't have to talk to him. Uh, he's being kind of uncooperative. He's over here talking to me. But he gave me his ID. Uh, we, That's good. He got stuff in the car, bro. He got stuff in the car. What do you got in the car? I'm not, bro, I'm not going to jail for you. I'm not, bro. Oh, I don't give a fuck, bro. You don't have to fuck. Can I get my D-bag, sir? What? No, no. We have stuff, we have stuff in the trunk. I'm you have stuff in the trunk. Why would I'm you just, jump in this, bro? I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to jail. All right, all right. right. Everyone, check the car. Right. Bro, I'm not going to jail for you, All right, bro. come on out. Come on out of the car. Come out of the car. Come on, bro. You're acting like a bro. You're tripping right now. What's going on, man? Can I get my ID, sir? No, we're, we're doing an investigation now. What the? What stuff is in the car? Is there anyone in the back seat? There's a guy in the, one guy in the back seat. I can't see him. I need you to roll this window down. We can't roll, see roll him. Down. Roll, that roll it down. down. Bro, roll, roll the down. back window down. I can't see in the window, man. You gotta be cooperative. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. What's going on, man? There's nothing going on, sir. Nothing. Okay. Okay. So cooperate with us. Okay. You're telling us there's stuff in the trunk. We don't know what's going on. Okay. Whose car is it? Is it registered? Who's it registered? Oh, so we can probably use another unit. Yeah. It's registered to you, right? Okay. Okay. I got his ID. Jason Sid. Jason, let me ask you this. Is the car off? No. Alright, let's turn the car off. So everyone feels better about this. Turn the car off. Yes, please. Turn the car off. Thank you. All right, very good, very good. Now I don't hear it running, that's good. Does that mean you're not going to peel off on me? All right, so one thing at a time. What's your name, man? What's your name? What's your name? Jemiah. Jemiah? Do you have ID on you, Jemiah? No, sir. I don't have it on me. How old are you, Jemiah? 19 years old. Okay. Person in the back seat. Do you have ID? Do you have ID on you? That's what we're asking. We're not. Take your hat off your head. How old is he? Do, if you want to get out of here, you're going to cooperate. Jason. With us. Jason. Does he have ID? Who? Who is that? You don't know. Okay. All right. Stuff in the trunk. Just check the trunk. That's all I'm saying. Bro, shut up, bro. What's in the trunk? You right? Just check the trunk. And she had a hammer. Smashing three holes in her bedroom door. Drugs. Okay. Female no longer has the hammer. I'm not going to jail for y'all, bro. Yes. Jemai, how old are you? You don't have idea. How old are you? 19. Okay. All right. So we got stuff in the trunk. We're trying to work it out here. I mean, you've already told us there's something in the trunk. Yeah. That's why we're at we're, we're the end of the point. Three exits separated at this point, and looks like it is. 10 4, they advise separated. The daughter should be inside her bedroom. What do you want to do, sir? What's the next step? We're, uh, we're, we're going to figure that out. Are we free to go? Yeah, no, not no, yet. You're not free to go. Yeah. Are we not free to go? Let's see if we can take him out of the car. Is there another one? Yeah, yeah, we're going to yeah, yeah, go more. Here we go, one more. Let me just fill him in. Other officers soon rushed to the scene to provide assistance and intensify scrutiny. Keep your hands where I can see them. Everyone's hands. 
So this came out as 13. Yeah. Uh, rolled up on it. It's all dark tint. Three, yeah, no, three no, meals in the car. Yeah. Uh, the passenger is saying that he's got there's stuff in the trunk. The on, he's the owner of the car. What's that? What's your name, sir? You'll get my name. Officer Bowman. What's your badge number, sir? You got any weapons in the car at all? No, sir. No, sir. No, that's you'll good. Get, you'll get everyone's badge. Nothing, nothing in the car. Nothing in the car, sir. sir. No, no. Okay. All right, do you guys want to check the car? Your gun, you got a gun loaded? No, you want to say that? Okay. I thought you said that too. I heard gun what? loaded, my friend. He said he has a good lawyer. That's what I thought what? I heard. That's what I heard. Oh, I ain't got no gun loaded, woo. He said, what? He, he said he has a good lawyer. What did you say? Okay, that's cool. No, no, no weapons. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I heard the same thing. That's what I heard too. Good lawyer, exactly, sir. No. He's scared now. He's touching his gun. Can I step so up the car? Yeah, please come out. Come out. Come on. Just, just listen to what we say. Come on. So you got no, I, no, you got no, no, no. Okay, all right. I appreciate yeah. it. Come on over here. All right. Put your hands down. I'm just going to check you for weapons, all right? I appreciate you being cooperative. All right. What's the reference? Y'all boys, get out the car, bro. All right. So this isn't your car, right? No, this is All right. Let's go have a seat on the curb over here. Thank you. Straight up. Awesome. I don't see any weapons. I'm just going to pull you down. Pull Most you down here and patch you down. Most definitely. Okay. No weapons, right? No weapons. Alright. Just step back real quick. I'm going to patch you down. Make some weight for me. Bring me together. Alright. Ready for me? Okay. 10, 4, Bravo, 10. What is this? That's, that's my microphone. I'm a daily vlogger. You recording? Okay. I'm a daily vlogger. Good. Good. Well, I'm recording as well. I'm gonna take the microphone off because I I don't know what it is. Well, it's a mic. No, it's, it's not it's a, a bomb or nothing. It's a, it's a microphone. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Ah, it's for yeah, my okay. safety. It's on, for my safety. On. Yep. Okay. You got it. You got it. He's got no weapons on him. I'm just gonna put this up here. Okay? Put it right there. Right. Until we figure it out. All right. Okay. Um, he's good. He's good. You wanna have him? Let's uh, go over here. Over here. Over here. Are sure you don't have ID on? You got nothing on you. Just keep your hands away, pocket. All right. Cool. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Bravo, 14 advisor, 23 advisor. 14. 10-9. Come over here. Have a seat, man, on the curb for me? Thank you. Now, you don't have ID with you, right? Okay. I can't answer no more questions. I'm just going to call my lawyer. Okay. 10-4, Bravo, 10. What's your time to do? Right, right, we'll see what's going on. 10 What are you going to do to him? That's my friend. Yeah, we're not doing anything. We're just checking. So there's no weapons in the car. You said that. Yeah, you got it. 708. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me make, a, make a call. I gotta get my notebook. Just hang out. Right? An officer suddenly shifts the tone, hinting at familiarity with Sid's online persona. But the ongoing investigation keeps the tension alive. I know you. You're Jason. Yes, sir. How you doing? How's you two? Great. Sure it is. You, you know my YouTube channel? No, I know you. Oh. You, you know me? Know yes, I know you too. 23. Uh, there's nothing in the car, 
I suggest you speak with us. No? There's nothing in the car, sir. Okay, but do you want to speak with us? I'm not asking you about the car right now. About what? About anything, about the car, about anything. Okay. I'll come back to you. Do you want to speak with us? Yeah? We're not doing anything. No. We're just parked up right there. I'm not doing anything, I'm trying to tell you. Check it, there's nothing in the car. It's more Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Bro, there's nothing in the car, bro. There's nothing in the car, sir. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's nothing in the car, nothing. Open one of the cans. Open the cans, but you pump it in the can on the Chill, bro. Camera film and stuff. Can I go to my doctor's appointment, please? Can I please go to my doctor's appointment? We're literally hanging out to that because of doctor's appointments by here. That's why we was hanging out here, sir. That's why. I like I, I like him too. Hang on, we all like him. I don't want to break the footage of that back. Despite Sid and his friends insisting there's nothing in the car, the officers remain suspicious, probing deeper with more questions and keeping the pressure on. Do we have names yet? Yes, sir. All right, I don't know. Other than his uh, ID, you had his ID. I got his ID, thank you. We don't have their names. Jeff, just give him your name. It's okay, bro. Jeff? You good, bro. You good, bro. We good, bro. Don't tell him your name, bro. Stop acting like that. But you good, bro. You good, bro. Hey, hey, whoa. Hey, look, you good, whoa. You gave it to me before. How you spell that? Route 14, Tim. What's uh, your date? Yeah. May 29, 2000. Bravo 23, I'm from Fiverr from. What's your address? Uh, 2841. 31, what I saw. South, open and yeah. forth. Uh, so is this, is this your car? Yes, sir. It's registered to you? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Um, what's he talking about? He's telling us that there's something in the trunk. Your friend. Check, bro, check, check yourself. Okay. Check yourself. Go check. Hold on. You have permission to go check what's in the trunk. There's nothing in my car, sir. Okay. There's nothing at all. That's what I'm saying. We were just hanging out. Okay. Well, that's why we're here. All right, I'm just going to read you your Miranda warnings. Is this? I don't need you to. I don't need you to. No, I have to. Okay. No, it doesn't mean it. See, bro? See, bro? See, bro? He's reading the paper, Phil. What listen. Mean, what listen. Hey. Hey. Whatever. What Unknown. What Anonymous what over there. Know? It means nothing. It means I, I'm, I'm going to tr ask him to go in his vehicle. No, that's what I'm telling you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. It's his car. Can y'all check the car so we can be free, please? I'm giving him permission, bro. We're going to be all day. You don't have a right to say. It's his car. It's my car, sir. 
Can you please check the vehicle so we can get out of here? I have an appointment at the doctor's. Okay. I have, we're not doing anything. How is it illegal to be posted up over what? there? So you're giving us consent to search the car? Yes, sir. That's okay. what I'm telling the you. The trunk? Yes. Because that's what you're yes, saying. You have consent to check it. Okay. Yes. Uh, is it open? Yes. Just you have to press the Mercedes sign. Mercedes. The Mercedes okay. logo in the back. Just click it. And that's you got it on video. He said we can search the vehicle. Bro, Thank yes, you. Bro, they can check the car. You know it's in the trunk. You know it's in the trunk. Shut up, bro. I'm giving him consent. There's nothing, bro. Check it. Okay. Check it. Okay. So you hit the Mercedes button. Where's the Mercedes button? It's right there in the back of the car. Just okay. Do we do we get his name yet? Yeah. Middle name. Okay. Click the top of it. I guess. Are they filmed for you? The They're your YouTube guys? I don't know them, bro. Yeah, okay. yeah, one of them said they know me. I don't know how they know you. They don't know you, I don't think, man. Oh, okay. Press the top part. The top, no, you have to press it. Why didn't they do it? They just gave us a second search of the car. I guess they don't got it. Can they work for the guys? I just, I got a doctor's appointment. Yeah, but it's stupid, bro. Probably 12 tonight. Come on, dude. Okay. Okay. Well, you're not gonna go until your friend here gives us his name. You got, you can stay here with us until Jeffrey gives you, give us his last name and his date of birth. There are a lot of Jeffs out there, man. There are a lot of Jeffs. Click it. Jeffrey. Click the top. He's gotta click the top, sir. What's Jeff? Do we know Jeffrey's last name? You know Jeff's last name? Nah. Jeff. What's your last name, bro? I forgot it. Jeff. Both of your, both of your guys. They're being good with us. Why, why are you? Bro, if you don't, bro, I swear. Yes. Hey, yo, hey. One of y'all could, one of y'all could be right here, sir. Just, bro, I have to go to the doctor, sir. Y'all could check the car. We're checking it. I need to go. Why are you guys holding me? And you're not checking the car. Jason. How do you know you can check the car? Y'all not letting me go, sir. Bro, Jason, you, you're, you two are being cooperative with us, okay? Exactly. Your friend's not being cooperative. Okay. I understand. Where, what's the doctor? I have a doctor for a checkup every month. I, check, I get checked up. Okay. Tell him it's coke in the car, bro. I'm tired of this shit. You check the car. Tell him it's coke in the car, bro. We're going to check the car. Yeah. Chill. Ain't going to lie, bro. I'll get to you about time. Bring you to the man with us. Yes, sir. Yes. Stop part. Um, this one said there's coke in the car spontaneously. I didn't ask him. Another officer continues searching for illegal substances, unaware that this is all just a prank orchestrated by Sid. The one who's saying, spontaneously saying there's drugs in the car said there's coke in the car. And so, I don't know what's going on here. And this one doesn't want to give us a, a name here. All right, I am going to read you your Miranda warnings. All right, listen. I would, mm -hmm. I would suggest you listen. At the end, you could either talk or not talk, okay? This goes for all of you. I know you're going to listen too. You hear me? All right. Jeff, whatever your name is, I suggest you listen as well. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney. <laughs> in the car, sir. Prior to or while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed at county expense to represent you before any questioning if you so wish. Decide any time to exercise these rights and not answer any question or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights as I explained yes, them to sir. you? All three of you? Yes? Yes? Yes, yes sir. Jeff? Yes, sir. Thank you. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to speak with us? Jason? You don't want to speak? There's nothing in the car. Okay, but if there's nothing in the car, I suggest you speak with us. No? There's nothing in the car, sir. Okay, but do you want to speak with us? I'm not asking about the car right now. About what? About anything. About the car, about anything. I'll come back to you. Do you want to speak with us, Jeff? We're not doing anything. No? We're just parked up right there. you want to speak with us? Uh, it's, I just, it's, it's coke We're not doing anything. Yes, I'm yes, you want to speak? No. No, you don't want to speak, but you want to tell me there's coke in the car? Check it, there's nothing in the car. It's more Coca-Cola. Coke or Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. <laughs> bro, there's nothing in the car, bro. You think you, you just like to troll cops? Is that what's up? 
So is there is there any pr drugs? There's coke. There's nothing in the There's car, in the sir. Car. That's what Other I'm than Coca-Cola. There's okay. nothing in the car. Nothing. Okay. You go open one of the cans. What? Okay. Gotcha. Everything checks out, sir? So far, yeah. So far. So far? Hey, I, I don't want to wreck whatever that, that, that uh, parcel in the back seat is, so can you come and help me, assist me? Alright, so you got cameras, obviously. Is that just camera equipment? Yeah, that's just our camera equipment. Do you want to open it? If you don't mind. I'll open it. Alright, thank you. I don't want to like, damage your camera. No, I understand. I'm, you know. This is our camera equipment. Middle of Charlie. And then I open these. Okay, appreciate it. No problem, sir. What's that? Hmm? This is lens and stuff. See? Okay, yeah, very good. More Coca Cola in a bag. No, that's not Coca Cola. That's a, that's a camera. Yeah, that's a camera. It's a camera. And then this right here. Alright, another camera. Yep. Yeah. I appreciate it. Appreciate it too, sir. Alright, I'm pretty convinced that there's no. So, so I guess what your friend was saying was he was nervous about the police yeah, being here. He was nervous about it, and so he said that that he doesn't know what he's just talking about. Okay, I'm convinced that. Uh, uh, they're, they're just hanging. Yeah. Out. This is this is not. Yeah, yeah. You I'm know? convinced. I told him. I said we're not even. Let them get out of here. Yeah. Let them go about their day. The officers, visibly frustrated, questioned Sid and his friends, demanding to know why they would pull such a prank. Why are you telling? Why are you telling us you're, you're just messing with us? Nah, that's why I told you stop talking, bro. You can't be doing that, bro. Is that is is that just what he does? He likes to stir. He stir stir stuff up. Listen, just because I read you your rights doesn't mean you're going to jail. It's but when you say stuff like that, I gotta read them to you. So we're going to jail? No, I didn't say that. I said it does no, not you mean you're going to jail. Minute, you just can't Thank play. You, you can't. You can't play games like that, man. You can't tell us there's drugs or there's there's co Coke. You're saying Coca-Cola. Before that, you said drugs. Do you not do any more experiments at the mall? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> which one worked at Burger King? This guy did, right? No, he's not here. He's not here? Yeah. I mean, you realize that we saw the whole video. And you can download these videos. And you laugh, but your buddy here had to go through all this. Now, Jeff, since we're going to be letting you go, can you give us your name? Huh? It's Jeff. All right. Have we? I mean, Jeff. Jeff, what? I'll spell it. All right. J. Is it Jeffrey or Jeff? J E P H. Hey Chris. J E P H. T H E. Thank you, Chris. What's your last name? V E R. V E R. D I E U. D I E U. Yeah. In, 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 in. We, we have an understanding at this point. Uh, what's your date of birth, man? June 25th. June 25th. 98. Do you have a middle name? No? Okay. And you have a license or ID card in Florida? No, but you do have one. What, ID card or license? One of them the Yeah, yeah. Guys, you can't. It's it, listen. That was, that was, just to go it's, to we're not. It's not like a test when we come up. Just, just be cool and talk to us, and we would have been out of here in a minute. You made, you made this what it is. You me? You should have cooperated, bro. You All right. Gone, bro. You good, bro? You good, I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna run him, yeah, yeah. but uh, you know. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead.
What's that? Uh, Four four ten two. Not it heavy. All right, guys. You guys have a good night. Or have a good day. All right. Is that wrapped or painted? Twenty nine check. Nice color, man. Thank you. Guys, take care. All right. That's That's named Victor Echo Romeo Delta India Echo uniform. First name Juliet Echo Papa Hotel Tango Hotel Echo. No middle initial. Date of birth six twenty five ninety eight. Black male. All right. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. you guys' cooperation. All right. Appreciate okay. you. Listen, we got. Unfortunately, we live in a world with a lot of nosy people, yeah. and people see people walking up and back and back and forth to, to the car. I didn't hey, mean listen, to I don't know what your interaction far. with law enforcement mm -hmm. is in the past, but listen, we 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 we, we got to do our job, okay? We got yeah. called here, and unfortunately, people sure. want to make things into I a big deal. You know what I'm saying? You guys are in a public gas station. Yeah. You know. Yeah, somebody called and said it was some people walking back and forth to the car consistently. Well, no, Maybe somebody people doing know us. People know us. Oh, I, I know you. Exactly. So, so I, I get it. I, I understand. It. I understand. I, you it. know, but like I said, unfortunately, there is people that sell drugs. Yeah. I mean, it does, it's not a secret. I understand. You understand I that? Understand. So. I appreciate you. Yeah, you got it, man. No problem. I mean, you realize that we saw the whole video, and you can download these videos. You laugh, but your buddy here had to go through all this okay. aggravation. Yes, we're going to be letting you go. Can you give us your name? We have his I'm going to give it back to you. Yeah. All right. Do you want this? Take this back. We, I mean, Jeff, Jeff what? I'll study. All right. Can I get up? Jay, is it Jeffrey or Jeff? Let me just see. Who's it? Hey, Chris. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. I mean, I thought for sure you guys would be back in the mall. I was looking forward no, to seeing you guys doing another social experiment. No, I just did another social experiment. Somebody did the news. Here or somewhere else? I was abusing a child in public. To see how people react like a social experiment. You understand that. You do realize if you do that stuff, you're... Do you have a middle name? I mean, it's not like... No? Okay. And you have a license or ID card in Florida? No, but you do have one. What, ID card or license? One of them will be Four, four, two, ten, ten. Yeah. Guys, right, you can't. Guys. It's it, listen. That was, that was just fun to it's, it's, We're not. It's not like a test when we come up. Just, just be cool and talk to us, and we would have been out of here in a minute. You made, you made this what it is. You, me? you should have cooperated, bro. You All right. Going, bro. You good, bro? You good, I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna run him, yeah, yeah. but uh, you know. Good. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. What's that? Four, four, ten, two. Not it heavy. Yeah. All right, guys. You guys have a good night. Or have a good day. Right. Is that wrapped or painted? Twenty-nine check. As the officers grasp the prank's intent, one of the boys finally opens up, explaining the fear behind his uncooperative behavior. A few days later, on February 3rd, 2022, the Coral Springs Police Department responded to Sid's prank. Jason, step outside the car for me, bro. Step out of Relax. Step out the car. What's happening? What's happening? Step out the car. Relax. Put your phone down for a second. Hold on. You have a warrant out for your arrest, man. Just relax. Step back this way. Hey, hey, grab my, hey, grab my phone on the seat. Grab my phone on the seat, fam. Step back this way for me, boss. I'm gonna get your keys, okay? All you need to do is all good. It's all good. I got it. Don't worry about it. Come this way for me. I'm just gonna pat you down, okay? Yes, sir. Put you over there by this truck. Any weapons on you, man? No, sir. Hey, Wonder, grab my phone. Hey, call Jeff. Call Jeff. Yeah. Spread your feet for me. We're at the house. What is this here? That's my. Bro, that's that's weed. Weed? Mm hmm. Anything sharp's gonna poke me, stick me, hurt me? Yeah, yeah. No. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you.
sleep. Step this way for me, boss. Hey, hey, Wonder! Relax. Hey, Wonder! Relax. I'm, I'm good. What's this for? You want him to get your chain, or you got him inside that could take your chain yeah, for let, you? Yeah, let, let him take it. Hold on, relax. What about your, uh, my earring? How does this come out? Is it, is it a flick or is it a... Yes, yeah, a flick. Hey, Wonder! We'll get it off in a minute. Let him take it off. He know how to take it off. Hey, Wonder, take my chain off! Take my chain off! We'll get it off. We'll get it off, bro. Yeah, we'll get the chain off. He's on my, he, he's on my property, fam. Hey, fam, you can stay on my yard and record all you want, whoa. You can, hey. Do you have a cage in your car or no? No. All right, come over here for me, boss. Right, wait, what's this for, though? He's gonna tell you everything in a second. Confirm hey, it. Hey, I need somebody at my crib for the Wi-Fi. We got transport, or yeah, th these guys don't have cages. No, no, transport's on the way. Okay, come here. Hey, hey, Wonder! Hey, get, hey! Hey, call my dad real quick! Call my dad right now! Hey, hey, where my phone at? Wonder, where my phone at? Hey, Wonder! Where my phone? I got it. What you want right now? Keep it on. I don't know how they just come out of nowhere. How you? Wait, I can ask you a question though, real serious what's question. Up, what, what, what's wrong? What happened? You have a warrant for your arrest. For what? The detective will tell you everything, okay? We just just know you have a warrant for your arrest, okay? That's why you're being detained right now. Hey, hey, Willie, call Bree. Sure, you want to? That boy came out of nowhere. That boy came undercover. Show the undercover cars. Show all of them. They tripping. Relax, bro. Hey. That shit ruined my day. No cap. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all boys are ruined my day, fam. I'm, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Uh, what's it called? To the dentist and stuff. Y'all caught me right before I pulled off. As Sid is taken into custody, he maintains a mix of frustration and disbelief, attempting to joke with the officers while grappling with the reality of his arrest. <laughs> that boy caught me right before I pulled off. <laughs> oh man. I know why I know why I'm getting arrested though. I think for the prank I did. You watch it? Be real, you watch it? Which one are we talking about? The the coke prank. The coke prank? Yeah. I think that's why I think that's why they are here. There's a coke plane, not real coke. Oh, the coke in the back of the car. See? Okay. Go ahead. Can I have a Twitter and DL, please? Hey, Wonder! It's Jason Sid, right? Yes, sir. What's your date of birth? August 26th, 2000. August 26, 2000. Them boy waited to see that car move. Alpha Lima Echo X-ray Alpha November Delta Romeo. Hello. Alpha. Been on this way for Alpha. Date of birth is 12 19 2000. On a black team. Can you say that last name only? Uh, I don't think she just got married. So I'm kind of. Can you 65? You ready to copy? Yeah, it's halfway ahead. Bravo Lima Alpha India Sierra Echo. Zulu 32, I'm here when you get a chance. Hey, Jeff! Zulu 32, go ahead. Hey, Wonder! Hey, you have the 14 on the individual we have detained out here in North Lardo? Let's see if they explain that to you, correct? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, 1,000%, okay. okay.
That's, that's why. That's why we're talking to you. Okay. So you know what your warrants for? Yes, sir. It's for misuse of the 911 system. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, with that being said, we have a detective back at our police department that would like to speak to you. Okay. Okay. Are you okay with that? That's fine. Okay. Perfect. Well, actually, actually, and he will explain. If you have any questions, he will explain well, it. We're just sent to pick you up on the warrant. Okay. Bet. Okay. Never. Are you mom? Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, you're 21 though, correct? Okay. Dad speaks English, mom speaks Oh, I'm sorry. Limited. Okay. Does dad need anything explained? Um, you have, um, they have your keys and everything? I, I got, got the keys. keys. Are you? Hey, you go get the Jason, keys. Jason. Forty-six, thirty-five, University. Subject: Playing a violin. Listen, we're, hey, we're trying to help you with this, okay? I know. I'm not. I'm. I'm, the, I'm just laughing, fam. I, I know, I'm allowed I know, to have humor. I'm not yes, gonna be sad because I'm a handcuff. Correct. I'm a happy person. I'm laughing. Good. I'm good. Listening I, I, to good. I want. I want you to be happy. Okay. Okay. With that being said, you, you obviously, mom's taking some of your property. Mm -hmm. You live at home with mom. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, is it okay? You want your mom or your friends have your car keys? She can have them. She can have them. Okay. Perfect. My Willie tiene la cadena mía. Hey, let him come in. Let him put the service up. Live Twitch. Royal Palm University, yeah. Okay. Can you call uh, Detective Casino? Let him know that he does want to come talk. Bravo 44 final is going to be 8700. Wow. 1082. No, 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 Yes, sir. Okay, so from here, okay, after you leave the Coral Springs Police Department, from there, okay, you're going to go down to main jail, you're going to get booked. Florida, okay, November, probably your dad was asking when you'll be Romeo available to be released. BMW, once they post, one, once they ask for your bond, once they post your bond, which should be, I think it's like 2500 okay. okay. That's good. So, but he need that 2500 let borrow from somebody else. You can, you can, if you, his, no, you could use cash. Go ahead. Yeah, he can't post his own bond, but if you have access, that's he that's can. Right. Right. One to okay, the okay, Broward right. Health ER for a statement. I have to come out with the, the whatever, cash or whatever card. Cash. Somebody else. Right. Give me a cash. I have cash. Right. I got. Uh, I think if you go through a bail bondsman, um, you know, it's 10%, but you do lose that money. Okay. What do they use? Yeah, like 10% or something? Yeah, it's used typically 10% for going rate. Right. Right. But they don't return anything back, right? Most time, no, it goes towards, you know, between that court file. Yeah, yeah, so. January 20th, that's 22. If you can. As Sid's parents arrive at the scene, concerned and confused, officers explain the charges and the seriousness of the prank's consequences. One of you guys going to be there? Uh, the, 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 we're not there at his um, at his hearing or the first arraignment. Yeah. No, yeah, he, 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 will, he, will get, he will get a phone call. You got me, Josh. Jason, do you, need, you have mom or dad's phone number, remember? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's off of, yeah, Broward, Broward Boulevard and uh, 3rd Ave. Right or, or East 3rd Ave. I got some people out there already. Okay. <laughs> um, his, 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 his warrants for making um, misuse of the 911 system, call 911. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, is Them make, cars came in to get a lawyer, or, or just we can do it itself. It depends on what what Jason decides, or what, you, what you guys know. Oh, it's gonna be in the record, or something. It's gonna be in. The it can, I mean, right now, yeah. I mean, there there is record of it. But uh, once he pays bond and get out, it's gonna be. But yeah, bien, yo voy a hablar con el lawyer. Yeah, but the lawyer is gonna take you another twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, but he But he sabe, Jason. No. Can't pay. Can you take another twenty five hundred dollars? Can you take another twenty five hundred dollars? No, uh, who's got the warrant? Um, it's entered into. You can I? No, no, they go watch it. We don't show the warrant. Yeah, we, you guys got it, right? In the system. That's that believe me. Correct. Correct. Yeah. 
You can print it out or something? You can print anything? Um, here we, we don't we don't we don't we don't have printers or whatever. But if you want me to show you the actual, you know, yeah, yeah if you don't mind, mm -hmm. it just shows no, the, it shows it shows you the you. it shows you the charge and the bond amount. Yeah, now now that I don't trust you, it's just like to be aware, you know, to, I can talk to right. you know. Yeah, you go in. Sorry. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, Ese video no tenía nada malo. Tú sabes que hay gente que tiene 46 millones de videos que, que lo hicieron. Ok. Yeah. We're just waiting for our Marquina to come to the transport. Yeah, 542, Texas Plate, Silver Kia. ¿Qué era algo de bebé? Y yo me fui al restaurante de los vehículos. Hey, give me a Coca-Cola. Give me a Coke. You know you can't drink anything right now, right? Yeah. No. La Pata Dazar. Nope. I'm sorry, tonight. Coming up as a Dazar, La Pata or La Pata Dazar? I said, well, let's see if we get you back then. Your camera's still rolling? Okay. No, I just, yeah, just turn it on. Just, just look at this car, keep in that direction. Uh, just, uh, just record their behavior. Yeah, Wait, okay. you're coming to my house? Motor case 75. You look pretty. Jason. Yeah. 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 We're about to, we're, we're, I think uh, transportation is on there. Jason. Yeah. No, no. Where Kelly at? He riding the bike? Hey. Jason. Hey. Jason. Oh. I know you're having fun with this, okay? <laughs> hey, tell Kelly. Jason. Tell Kelly. Tell Kelly too. Tell Kelly too. Jason, look. I'm, I'm standing here. I'm allowed to talk. Stay in the back of the car. I'm allowed to talk. Take, go, walk back this way. Walk, walk, put him in the back of the truck. Raw 44981. Yeah, calm down. CID tries to keep his spirits up, chatting with the officers and his friends, but the weight of the situation becomes clear as they prepare him for transport. Um, just so you guys know as parents, I don't know if he's going to listen to you more than he's going to listen to us. Right. He's making false complaints hey, and calling 911 and everything park. like that, making up like serious allegations. Yeah. So with that being said, he yeah, can't, he can't, he can't call 911 and complain. No, no. He's going to get... He's going to have a nice talk to right. him when get home. Yeah. I know he's doing it for social media. I think he thinks right. it's, it's funny and his friends and everything like that, but it's, it's really not, especially when you have, yeah. we have 911 calls holding, we have domestics, we have people that need help. And right. instead, we're going to his calls instead. I understand. It can, anything can happen during that time. Yeah, yeah no, I got you. Don't no worry. You make sure. Hey. Yeah, shut up. Because it looks like a big van for you. No, no, no worry. Yeah, so it's not. I mean, they think it's, you know. Kid today, they, you know. They, well, he's not a kid. He's, he's 21. No, no, but you know what I say, you know. Even if he's, if he's an adult, you know, for me, it's a, it's a little He's good. still your son, right? Yeah. It's, you know, it's, uh, even if it's like a grown beer like this, it's just a trend like little kid. 2251 University Drive. So. So, all right, thank you. I appreciate it because um, I think he may have been doing this with other cities too and other police departments. No, I think this uh, the first time. Which one? It's the first time he did it for the Coral Spring? No. No. Uh, and so he'll keep getting additional charges if he keeps doing it. Uh, so how oh, many times he did it? Is that the system? Uh, this is just my first contact. Uh, my first encounter. I'll make sure. That I don't think he's going to do it. For okay. Bravo, Thank you. Then you, you guys have any right? questions? No. Okay. Where right. Where's Kelly at? He riding the bike? Hey. Jason. Hey. Jason. I know you're having fun with this, okay? Hey, tell Kelly, yes, tell Kelly, tell Kelly too, tell Kelly too. 
Yes, I'm, I'm standing here. I'm allowed to talk. Stay in the back of the car. I'm allowed to talk. Walk back. That's fine. Yo. Back the truck. Come on. You mad because I'm talking? You no, can't no, be mad because I'm talking. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm not allowed mad at all. to talk, man. Sit right here for a second. I'm Listen. allowed to talk. Woo. Listen to me. I'm not. I'm not mad at you. Okay, okay. but, but why, why is he trying to make me stop talking? I'm not doing we're, nothing. We're, I'm not doing nothing wrong. We're, we're allowing your parents to stand right here. We're allowing. Fam, but them, listen, listen. I'm not saying. I'm not saying nothing bad about you. All we're asking you guys is just stop yelling. Okay, just stop yelling like okay. that. All right. Okay. Most we're deaf. letting them hang out right here. Most right? Deaf. Most deaf. And you know we know what you're doing. You're just you're trying to you know get your friends hyped up by yelling at them. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually know, talking I'm, to I'm, them. You know. Give me a coke. I get it. You know, you're making a, a joke reference. I'm no, my dad just said, "Do you don't speak Spanish?" You don't speak Spanish. My dad just said, "Do you want a soda?" I said, okay. "Yes, bring me a coke bring right by the house." I got you. That's all, all right. I drink. All I'm saying. No, is no just puedo. Chill. We're literally just out standing here waiting for a not car. You, I promise you, I'm not even mad at y'all. Y'all got nothing to do with this. No, 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 está bien. Why are you yelling? Whoa, no way. Why are you, you brought the van out though? Listen, it's a transport van, okay? That? That's what you ride in, okay? That? It's actually a lot better than riding in a police car. That boy bought a spinner. Hang tight. He was then transported to the Broward County Detention Center. Are they double locked here? Uh, they brought know. a sprinter. He's got. He's got. He's gonna drink. Okay. All right. Um, is he going back to the PD or straight uh, down? Uh, to the PD. Yeah, oh, he's going to the PD. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then I'll just keep those. Well, actually, I gotta bring, bring it to the front. Hey, call my lawyer. Hey, can you stop yelling? Hey, call the lawyer. Can you stop yelling for a I second? Need, I need to know if I want to go to the uh, okay, we'll, department we'll and let, speak with them. We'll let your parents okay. and everybody know. I just want to okay. know who I want to. I want to know. I got you. I, I want to know. I'm not sure if they're double locked or not yet. I'm gonna. I, I gotta move them to the front. Okay. All I'm trying to say, he's gonna move the cuffs to the front to so be more comfortable here. So just keep your hand right here. You take that rubber band off. She won't break my wrist. Nah, that's all right, man. I'm not trying to. Sorry. Yeah, here you go. This is on his wrist here. All right, thank you. Yeah, you can't go back there though. No, no. No, he's he's getting ready to get loaded in the van. He's going. All right. All right. He's, he's got your phone okay. number. He's, he's gonna, gonna go to the. Okay, right? Yeah, man. Of course. He's gonna go to the county. He'll get a phone call. He'll call you. Let you know what the bond's gonna be. Okay. He's gonna pick him up, and then he'll have a court appearance. All right. Okay. This should happen later, right? Yeah. I, you know. Later at the end of the day. Uh, it'll probably be tomorrow morning. Um, because you know, first appearance, he's gonna have to go before a judge. Oh, so, yeah, he'll probably he'll probably be there through the night, unless they do a nighttime thing, which I'm not exactly yeah, sure. Sometimes they do a late night. Okay, if they do a late night one, then maybe later yeah. on tonight. So, sure. all right, all right. Sorry, okay, man. So no, okay. No problem. You, you, no, no, Take care. Okay. You're doing, you're doing your job, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I would be a nice talk to him. What's that? I'll talk to him when he get home. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. No, no, no. I'm still on my week. Let's get back here. All right, this is uh, my car here, so I'm going to oh, back sorry. up out of here. That's okay. All right. <laughs> you can take my black truck over there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all right. All right, man. All right. Take care. Take care. You too. Double loss here. Uh, I don't they brought a sprinter! He's got it, he's got it. He's going to transport it. He's going to take the cuffs. Um, is he going back to the PD? Or? Uh, right down. Uh, to the PD. Yeah, he's going, oh, to, he's going to the PD? Yeah. Okay, so then I'll just go to the Well, actually, I got a pretty good one. Hey, call my lawyer! Hey, call the lawyer! I need, I need to know if I want to go to the uh, department to speak with them. I just want to know who I want to speak with. I'm gonna, I, I gotta move him to the front. Okay. Thank you. Come in. All I'm trying to ask is to move the cuff to the front so be more comfortable here, so just keep your hand right here. Bravo, then you got yourself off of it. She's gonna be by this. Nah, that's right, man. I'm not trying to, sorry.
Is this hurt? Is this hurt? Yeah, that hurt right there. Look, my whole wrist is locked on there. You could, yeah, you could swap them out if you want. If yours are easier. Well, let me see if... Uh, whose are these? These are mine. You got a big boy. Uh, who you be arrested? <laughs> just leave your hand there for me, okay? I got you, I got you. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna run. No, I know, but it's just... We practice the same way every time. So when there is a guy that's resisting, we always do the same thing, okay? Most of... Oh, sorry. All right, you're good. We'll, I'm sorry. we'll get him once we put him in. It's all good. Just put it this way. I just don't want you if in the back here. If you got him in the back, it's so, very uncomfortable. I, I, I hey, Willie, keep my phone. You want to swipe Willie, one more time? You hold my phone. Hey, you buddy, hold it. Come on. Relax. Oh. Right, they have all your stuff. No, no, I just don't want somebody else to grab it. Bravo, they got all your stuff. You got nothing else hitting? It's all going to metal tech, you know, we're going to do all that stuff. So just now is the time to get rid of this stuff. Right. Sometimes people forget. Put your seatbelt on. Okay. You get him? All right. Yeah, I got him. Ma'am, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You blocked the road. Go. Okay, so uh, back to the PD? Back to the PD, yep. Okay. Don't go down the street, just back out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> ma'am, ma'am. Jason Sid, also known as King Sid, was charged with the third degree felony misuse of 911 and was released on a $2,500 bond while awaiting further legal proceedings. For more jaw-dropping moments, subscribe and stay tuned to our channel.